Madden fans, this is Madden Moist Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the New England Patriots defense. That's right. This playbook right here, when I did a, my top five defensive playbooks at the beginning of the year, I know it was in there. Um, I think it was just slightly ahead of the Raiders because it had uh, the 4 3 under. I don't think the Raiders had the 4 3 under, but this is a really good playbook. It's my new defensive playbook. I moved on from the uh, Bengals. Not that there's anything wrong with the Bengals, I just wanted a new challenge. And uh, this, play, this protect, particular playbook has a lot of the same plays as the Bengals, which made me comfortable enough to move from it but it also has some formations the Bengals don't have like the 335 odd and uh, the blitz I'm going to show you today which is one of the best blitzes I've seen all year it's so good it's the reason that I switched if you want to know the truth about it that and I also like some plays out of the 43 odd uh, so if you guys want to see some more plays out of this by all means let me know in the comment section or hit the like button uh, the next blitz that I have is really good out of the 3 4 odd it's also a really good base defense. Uh, but other than that, let's go and let's get right into it. Um, like I said, this is uh, this is all about this particular formation. There's, I'm labbing some more blitzes out of it. I'm going to keep uh, making some exotic blitzes. So, uh, like I said, this is this is probably going to be my next defensive ebook. I'm, I'm going to try to get that out as soon as possible. But the play I'm going to show today is out of the Cover Three Sky uh, Show Four, which is really nice because obviously uh, it's it's a little bit of a misdirection look uh, pre-snap. Uh, but it's really a concept. I'll probably show you a couple different ways you can run this concept before the video is over uh, and I'll still still try to make sure that this video is not too long uh, but this formation as a whole has some really good uh, really good looks and like I said I'm working additional blitzes um, to, to continue this so let's go ahead and let's pick uh, the first play the cover three sky show four <clears throat> then on offense it's it's got a pretty large personnel so it really doesn't matter uh, what, uh, what what look you run it against you're not going to get overpowered I wouldn't recommend necessarily running it against like something like this but we'll go ahead and we'll go random gun <clears throat> this play right here, like I said, I'm, I don't know how well it's going to work against the computer, but that's why hopefully at the beginning of this video I showed you how successful it was against people. Um, a lot of people like to say, you know, it works in practice. Sometimes it works, you know, against in game way better than it does in practice. So as far as this look goes, all I really want to do is first I want to base a line. Uh, which I did not do there. I actually showed blitz. So let's baseline this time. And then we want to uh, press. That, those are the two things that I like to do. Um, I can also baseline again. Like sometimes those corners aren't in a really good position. So I'll baseline again. Uh, and and the, the bottom line is this cornerback stayed down. That's really what I want. So you can baseline twice. Uh, press. You know, I just want this cornerback down. Because he's coming in obviously with some heat. Uh, so then my next move is I want to spread the line. Uh, sometimes you you know you, you can pinch the line if there's a threat to run, um, but uh, I'm gonna spread the line there, and then I want to basically bring this linebacker down. He's out kind of far. I like him in a little bit closer, uh, but I'm basically just gonna send him on a blitz. So this is the look right here. Um, I will use or cover this outside, cover these two wide receivers. Uh, and you can see how we basically have uh, a really good zone coverage. Um, like I said, the outside route there, you know, there's there's no deep purple. If you really want to, you could always put this guy. Um, to cover that side, but I, 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 I leave it. You know what I mean? That that outside um, cornerback should cover the outside receiver just fine. Uh, and it's such a fast blitz; it really doesn't matter uh, whether or not um, you know the, whether the quarterback's typically going to get sacked before he can read that there's anything open anyway. But you still have really good coverage at the bottom line. Uh, but like I said, if you want to put this guy into a curl flat or a hard flat, you can do that and just use this guy. I'm not a huge fan of doing it. I think it's fine just the way it is. Uh, and I haven't had too much issue. So let's just go ahead and let's run it. Um, you could also guess pass, especially since there's no running backs. But I was guess, I guess pass quite a bit, and I find that it helps. So we'll go ahead and run it one time, see what we can get done here. <coughs> like I said, nothing really open. I do my job. You see there's a check down. I didn't quite get the heat that I wanted. Let's do that again. Like I said, I was a little concerned that this play might not work as well against the computer as it does against actual user opponents. But at the same time, I also forgot something kind of important, which is I want to bring down um, this guy. I might just this guy into this gap. I forgot about that. This will get a free runner if you bring him down. I also like the bluff blitz myself so that it'll hold uh, a little bit. And you'll see how this is going to bring somebody down. So let's go ahead and let's do this properly this time. See how I pull that guy and we get a free runner there, hopefully. But you see the guy got rid of the ball. 
something forced Nikki Six there to get rid of the ball, um, you know, prematurely. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go back down this gap, bluff blitz ourselves. Uh, that was not a bluff blitz. Where are we at here? All right, that's not letting me do the proper bluff blitz. It's just making me do whatever. So whatever. We'll just go ahead and stick with the middle read, and I'll just stay in the gap for a second by myself. I find closer to the defensive tackle the better. Uh, but I'm just manipulating the line there. And you see we got another free guy. He gets rid of the check down again. I don't think it was the guy I was expecting, but I did see a free guy coming in. So let's go ahead and let's watch this here. Like I said, I think it actually was, yeah, it was Kyle Van Noy. Or not Kyle Van Noy. He, the outside linebacker got free for whatever reason. I, he typically gets outside, but in this one, for some reason, he goes inside and they just completely forget about him. So let's go ahead and let's try to get the uh, the cornerback free runner. So I wish I could bluff blitz. I don't know why it's not letting me. But yeah, something happened there because he's chucking it out of bounds. So that's obviously pressure. Let's go ahead and let's take a look. Yeah, he's just, you know, coming in wide. Yeah, we got uh, 90 or 50, 59 there coming in free again. For whatever reason, a lot of times he just gets the, the lineman just whiff. You know I mean, the two times that I've gone to this, uh, to, to watch the, weep, the replay, 79 just like watched them pass by. So I don't know what that's about, but that's basically what this blitz is. Uh, just from some different coverages, basically the same concept applies. Uh, if you guys wanted to use it out of a Tampa 2, obviously you're just going to blitz that corner um, and you're going to get the same effect. Uh, one way that I like to do it, the cover 6 is a really good one. This is kind of a unique setup. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Uh, cover 6 is a really good formation coverage. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. We'll keep going random gun. Uh, this play right here, uh, I find the best way to do this is blitz whoever this is. I don't know who this linebacker is, Harris. He's probably a bum. Just blitz him and bring him down. And that's your play right there. So now I got my middle coverage and I'm running a cover six. Just just, just coverage by myself. I can still bring this guy down in if I want to. Um, bring him down in to try to, try to hold that gap. Uh, it does let me bluff blitz now, which is great. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to drop back in coverage. Hopefully we get a couple more sacks here. Um, I don't have quite the speed coming off the edge on the left side like I did before with that linebacker, but um, let's go ahead and let's do this. Um, and once again, we got check down city. I'm guessing that was heat related. I did see somebody coming in. So let's see. Yeah, we got a free runner right there, 45 coming in. Like I said, that, that this had more to do. I was actually I actually got my bluff blitz in now, which I think really helped out. But you can see a free runner coming in, but I don't even know who this guy is. I mean, <laughs> like I said, the Patriots personnel is not that great. Uh, but you can see the setup. You can see how a lot of times guys come in free and just and just wreak havoc. So that's it. I'm going to move on. Uh, not too much uh, to show. If you guys want to see more blitzes out of the Patriots playbook, they'll let me know and like, and by hitting the like button in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shout Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.